Hello everyone, it's Leah from Dime Culture, and in today's video, I want to show you all the art supplies that I recently that I re blah, 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 blah. <laughs> all right. So let's try that again. I want to show you all the art supplies that recently arrived that I am so excited to start using. And before I start to actually use them. I'm going to show you them and then if you guys want any reviews of them or anything like that you can let me know in the comment section below. So first let me just clear this off. Put this aside for a minute and let's just get started first with me discussing tape because I feel like this is a good starter. Anyways, So when it comes to using tape and painting there are a lot of options out there for you. Um, you could just use basic painter's tape, scotch tape, you know, any tape you have lying around the house. But I find personally, because I use two different mediums as my base for water, I do watercolor or acrylic. Um, not all tapes are good for both paper types that I use. So this brand here, is the best that I have found so far for not ripping your paper when you're taking it off. And I ordered two different sizes because this, I feel like would be a good size to use when making color charts. So I'm excited to use this one and I'm just so glad they had this one in stock because my current roll is basically empty. All right, next, I got a paintbrush. Sorry, the squeaky sound of my desk chair. Um, <laughs> so I picked up a new paintbrush that technically I didn't need, but when I saw it, I wanted it. I have done a review of Princeton's Neptune line, so I'll leave a link to it up here and down there if you'd like to check out to see how this brand performs. Obviously I like it because I bought another one. I went with the oval wash for a couple of reasons. First, I love the size. It's a good size. Two, I like how it's flat, but also kind of like, you know, poofy. And three, I like how it's got a point on it. So when this is wet and which I know from using this brand, when it gets wet, it'll have a sharp point. So I think this will be an interesting brush to use for doing abstract flowers and maybe even using it as a one paint brush doing everything for doing some abstract landscapes and um, playing around in my art journal book. So I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to using this. Next, let's look at the colors I got. I picked up color from three different brands. First, let's start with these ones from Amsterdam. I went with their standard series, not their Pro Acrylic. Um, to be honest, I've never used the Pro. I don't know the huge difference between the two, but I really like this. You get a lot in the tube. And these colors, the way their paint performs is really nice. So I have two other colors by this brand and I really like using them. So yeah, um, I went with these two colors for one reason and one reason only. They were cute and they're convenient colors. They're cute convenience, basically. And what's great about having cute convenient colors is the fact that while you're in the zone of painting, uh, sometimes, especially if you're being very expressive and you're focused in on something, taking your mind out of the expression of painting and focusing in on getting the perfect color mix can really sometimes throw your groove off. And by having convenience colors, it'll help you stay focused and in the zone. So I picked up these colors because I really like them. Same thing goes with these two here. Now I've also done a review of Liquitex's acrylic gouache paint, um, and I'll leave a link for them up here and down here for you to check out to see how this paint performs. Again, clearly I like it because I bought more. Um, and my reason for buying these ones, as I said, cute, convenient colors. Um, I really like them and I look forward to using them. And then this one here 
is the Alizarian Crimson Hue by Golden. Um, so this one here, I know it's, it's, uh, you can't really see the color, but what's nice here about this brand is the fact that they actually have paint on it versus say this one here where it's just a printed color of the color swatch. Um, this brand, when you're in a store, you can see how the color actually looks. Um, and also what's great about Golden is if you go to their website, you can also see how their color looks. So pretty cool. Um, before I move on to the next item, I want to quickly show you these colors because prior to sitting down and recording this video, I swatched them. Sorry, I'm just trying to fan it out to, to the colors. So aren't they pretty? And oh, look at this green. It's not a standard hooker's green color that you would see in watercolor. Um, and I really like how when it's watered down, so it's diluted with water, it becomes more of a lime green. I really like that. That was a nice surprise to see. And this blue, oh my goodness. I want an entire outfit in this color. Please and thank you. Now I am thinking with all these colors, looking so great together because let's face it this is a nice color palette right like it these colors go well together i'm thinking my next painting when i'm done recording this video is going to be me sitting down and just creating something with just these colors i'm not sure what i'm going to paint yet but i have to use just these colors i know it at some point in time even if it's not today this is gonna be a limited palette and these are just gonna be the colors I'm gonna use because these are beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful, so excited. Maybe I should put them there. Okay, and the last thing I picked up were dot cards. Um, I picked up two different brands dot cards. So if you're not aware of what a dot card is, in the world of watercolor, dot cards have become an item that you can purchase from watercolor brands to get a sense of what their line offers so you can see how every color performs and for me personally i've never really used their professional watercolor by winsor and newton i've only ever used their cotman line which is their student grade and when I saw that they had a dot card, uh, uh, I got excited. I was like, oh, I need to know how these colors look. And there's 109 colors on this. So there's even more colors on the back. So this is gonna be a fun activity to do to swatch out all these colors. And then the second one I got was from Daniel Smith. Now, if you've been here with me at Dime Culture on the lifespan of my YouTube channel. Um, a couple years ago, you'll know that I already did a review on Daniel Smith's watercolor paint. And in that review, I talked about this swatch card because I was going based on these dot cards. So yes, technically I already own one, uh, but technically it's empty. So um, I used it all up all the colors. There are only a couple of them that still have color left on it. And it's because I didn't like them. So I decided to pick another one up. And here's my reason for why I chose to get a second one. When it comes to relaxing and using art to help with anxiety and mental health issues, there are many ways you can go about it. You can express yourself with paint to paper and create abstract imagery or you can do extreme detailed images. You can do line work with ink and pen and pencil. You can do anything really. You can use chalk, pastels, whatever you want. You can do that. But I also find that the act of swatching out colors, creating color charts, is very soothing for me. And by making color charts, I'm able to kind of just have an activity to do when I'm feeling anxious, 
but gives me a moment to sit still, to focus on one thing. And sometimes when I'm doing this, if I'm in the groove and I'm feeling good, I'll have my Netflix playing and I'll just start going with it. But sometimes it's just good to have music going and relaxing. It's very relaxing. That's basically what I'm trying to get to. I find it very relaxing. And that's where these thin tape size thingamabobber here, <laughs> I think it's gonna come into play. I'm gonna make some color charts based on all the paint here. And the charts are gonna be for my use to not only see what these brands offer, but also to create maybe a poster of all the colors. Now, because I like doing color charts and I find it very calming, I also really like seeing how colors work and perform and um, Daniel Smith as a brand, I really like their paint. I use them, almost my entire paint palette is Daniel Smith paint and I do have core. Uh, um, I have core in there as well. Like I have two brands, Dan Smith and core. Uh, but core doesn't do a dot card that I'm aware of. And if they have just made one, <gasps> I need to get my hands on it. Um, <laughs> but I like, I want to be able to see what every single color is they offer in a larger format. So originally when I first got these, I made like tiny little swatches and now this time around, I'm gonna make them bigger and make a big poster thing. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm gonna do for some nice relaxing activities. Um, so, oops, sorry, dog hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, this is everything that I ordered this time. I have another order coming. I'm so excited for it to arrive too, because it has completely different items in it. I'll make another video when that arrives. But now that I've shown you everything, I wanna take a moment and just open the floor to you guys. Um, if you have any comments or questions or, you know, is there something that you'd like to see on this channel for how to's? Um, how to draw a certain flower or uh, how to use certain art supplies, anything like that. Or even if you just wanna see um, any videos about how to use art supplies for expression and healing and anxiety and things like that. If you wanna see more stuff about that or if there's any topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment out in the open for everyone else to read you could always reach out to me uh, through instagram at dime culture i'm there as well so if there's anything that you'd like um, to learn and you just don't feel comfortable putting it out for everyone to see that's okay i mean let me know and i'll create some videos for you guys especially because i mean I want to create something that's going to help you and especially right now with everything that's going on in the world anxiety is heightened even more and uh yeah i just want us to all help one another and so we can all stay uh healthy mentally and physically um so that's the end of today's video so before i say my final goodbyes let's just take a moment close our eyes for a second Take a deep breath in. Let that air out. Take a few moments to take some deep breaths. Okay guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in what I do here, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay magical.